so in today's Japan Wonders video, I'm gonna be bringing you something a little different than usual, a little more of like a vlog style. You know, just trying to change it up a little bit. Let's go, bro. What's up, man? All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be comparing an apartment in central Tokyo and an apartment right outside of Tokyo. So let's get it. Hello, welcome. Hello, hello. welcome. Oh, nice room, sir. Nice room. Well, I mean, you know, living in Tokyo, you don't really have much space, so you gotta, you know, work with what they give you. So, like, over here, I got this foldable couch. It's a futon couch because, you know, I don't want to take up too much space with the big bed. But I got this couch that I can recline into a bed or you just bring it up to be just a you know, normal couch. You know, right over here, I got my workspace where I do a lot of my editing. So, a lot of the stuff in here is actually pretty modern because this apartment is like three years old. So, like, this AC right here is one of my favorites about this apartment because it's automatic AC, which means it turns off when I'm not here, but as soon as I come home, it detects movement and some heat. And my closet, I had to get creative with it. This is all I have for like to put my clothes in my apartment. So I had to buy this thing, you know, for socks and underwear and all that. This is my first time seeing these. These are like these little rods that you can unscrew. I think like the more like newer apartments have these now and then you can just put it anywhere in one of these holes over here. It's convenient because I can just hang everything up. And over here, as you guys saw earlier. Yo. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Can I come in? Yeah, come on in. This is what I use to answer my door because we have a gate. So this is where the camera is, you know, the monitor to show who's outside. And it also lets me know if anyone's been by the house. So I just have like a blue bin, uh, blinking light. And then I can see who's outside for like about like two seconds after they press the button, which is pretty cool. And then over here, we got my TV set up on top of my refrigerator. Okay, okay. Don't really have anywhere else to put it. <laughs> you know, I like to keep things pretty simple. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. Let me see and let me see the joys. So next thing is my shower. So this is actually pretty cool in Japan. What they do is instead of just having the water always hitting up to like be ready for hot water, you can just press this button. My water is at 40 degrees Celsius and you know, I can like increase the heat or you know, decrease the heat if it's too hot. And then once I turn that on, this is my shower over here, my bathtub. And I like this because look at this. Look at the wall, the wooden pattern Ooh, and everything. Okay, wow, it's very, very fancy. Yeah, very modern, you know what I mean? What's cool about Japanese tubs is that you have a washing area. And then over here is a tub. So in Japan, you never go into the tub without washing your body first. And then that same thing that you saw outside is actually inside too. Yeah, the same thing is outside. You can, you can turn it off. If you ever want to talk to anybody, just I've never actually pressed that button before, but yeah, so if I were to like slip and fall and you know hit my head somewhere and I can't get up, I think I just press that button and somebody come save me. You gonna come save me? Nah, I'm just be chilling. All right, bro. What's up with your laundry setup though? Once you wash your clothes, since they don't have a dryer, you have to hang it up to dry it, right? And all my t-shirts and stuff, I get hangers, hang it up on this bar right here. And then after that, what I'll do is close this door and I got four buttons right here, right? I don't really know what they all do, but I'm pretty sure I always press this button and I think it's supposed to dry the clothes that's, that's inside. Fan, yeah. So yeah, it's a fan. So that's how you dry the clothes in Japan. In the winter, when it gets really cold in there, you can press this and it's kind of like a heater. So it like warms yeah. up that room. So it's not like super cold when this you're about to take a shower. actually dry. Oh, so this is the button I'm yeah, supposed to press? Yeah, this is dry, yeah. Last thing in my apartment is my bathroom. I love my bathroom because when you open it up, the seats are preheated. So that means in the winter, your butt cheeks are not cold. <laughs> like it feels good sitting on this. And over Bruh. here, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but if you have, this will clean your butt on. Yeah. So when you sit down, you know, you're ready to go. You're ready to clean yourself. You press this button, it sprays it, and then, you know, it cleans what it needs to clean. Press this button to stop it. You can control the temperature of the water and the pressure of the water too. And after you're done, then once you flush, water comes out. So you wash your hands, dry it. Oh, okay. And your boy was prepared. Boy has hella toilet paper. I've lived here for almost a year now, and this is only my third toilet paper roll. All right, so that's my apartment tour of living inside of Tokyo, and Peace lives outside of Tokyo, so let's go check out his apartment now. All right, so we're at Peace's house now, and Want to give me a tour? Yeah, sure. Let's, Let's get it. I mean, it is kind of old, 
This apartment is 25 years old. Let me turn on the light. So, I mean, it is old, but they reformed it like five years ago just for the doorbell and the floor. So my floor and doorbell is brand new, kind of. So first thing first, my kitchen. It's not that beautiful. Now, I mean, I cook every single day, right? I don't buy meal outside of my house. I basically cook every single meal. I got my cleaning stuff and proteins, rice, oatmeal, essentials, you know, for the game. This is the weirdest part of my house because after I finish drying out my laundry, I just put it right here, then I leave it because I'm too lazy to fold it up. So I can just, you know, take it, wear it, wash it, dry it, take it, wear it, you know what I'm saying? Like, efficiency. This is my is setup. setup. This is a setup, sir. This is where all the magic happens. This is all the magic happens, you know what I'm saying? And this is my closet. I know it's not organized as Shota's place, and it looks kind of, you know, it looks kind of messy. But for me, in my vision, everything looks separated and beautiful. And this side, I got my supplements, I got my deodorant, I got my other t-shirts and like small towels and stuff. For some people, it doesn't look organized, but for me, whew, boys really organized. And this is where I put all my like basic stuff. I just take it, wear it. Put it back here. Then I, your boy, got the futon. This is my whole setup for my futon. So I mean, my room, as you can see, is pretty big. For 500 bucks per month, I live like about 30 minutes from Shibuya. Let's say that. It's not like too country, but I get a 142 square feet room with separated bathroom and like this whole stuff. I mean, it didn't came with it. So I got my sofa, as you can see. I mean, it's pretty big. One time I got five people stay over at my house and we had no problem because I had futon, I had this. So we all chilled and you know, it was a pretty fun time. Even my place, if you wanna live right next to the train station, if the apartment's new, it will cost around 600 bucks, but still 600 bucks. You can't really see right now, but in the winter time or very clear sunny days, you can see Mount Fuji like super clearly. I love the view of this place, so. That's another plus point. I'm actually jealous. I live on the first floor, so I don't get any sunlight. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. So we wanted to show you what it's like living in Tokyo and living outside of Tokyo when it comes to apartments. And I mean, let us know in the comments below if you'd rather sacrifice, you know, paying more to be more close to downtown city or if you want to pay less, but you know, it takes longer to get to the city. You know, I chose, you know, pay more to be closer to the city, but he chose the opposite way. So we live pretty far from each other, but you know, I want to show you what it's like living in Japan. And if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like the content and I'll see you in the next video. Try it? Sure. Alright, so Peace is gonna try the one wheel. Oh, this is scary, bro. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, this is like snowboard. It is, yeah. <laughs> oh. Man, he got the hang of it quick. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's Good get job. it, bro. Dude, I'm actually impressed. My first time, I actually busted my butt. I mean, I've been doing snowboard for like 15 years, so. That makes sense.